Hola clase. This is financial analysis, um, our live lesson for um, the second week of school. Um, I just want to let you know that um, completing the Monday assignments, you can tell they're Monday's assignments because they have the word Monday next to them, um, is how I take attendance for the week, so or for that day. Um, Tuesday, by coming to the live session, that is how I take attendance for um, Tuesday. And then Thursday, by coming to our live session, that's how I take attendance for Thursday. So this week, um, if you completed the Monday assignments, you got um, credit for attending Monday school. Um, for the syllabus quiz, a lot of folks took it but didn't get 100%, so I want you to keep taking it. Um, until you get 100%. Once you get 100%, I will pop that credit into Aries for you. Um, Tuesday, we're doing, this is, which is today, we're doing the workshop notes. Um, and then Thursday, we're going to do the practice and create your own problems. Okay, so we're going to talk over workshop, workshop one. So you guys can open up a tab with the notes and I want you to fill in all the yellows. I'm going to highlight yellow where you guys are supposed to fill in your yellows. Okay, so we're going to work on writing and reading numbers. Um, I actually don't want to highlight yellow yet. Um, and the reason we are working on writing and reading numbers is so that we can um, so that we can write checks. It's super important. The bank is really particular um, about uh, how you write checks, so I want to make sure that um, writing checks is um, a skill that you guys have before before you leave here and um, enter on into the real world. So we're going to do a little practice um, on writing numbers and reading numbers. Uh, the number system we use is based on tens. So um, it also, it has 10 digits, which are 0 through 9, and, oh, sorry, 1 through 9, and 0. So 1 through 9, and then 0. And then we have a decimal point, um, and with those 10 digits and the decimal point, we can write any of the numbers we encounter. Um, so we're going to do this example problem. We're going to write A, which is 21, and that is written as 21. So you guys make sure you enter that. 15,456. Two things I want you to note is that there are no ands. So it's not 15,400 and 56. An and is a decimal point. So anywhere you see an and, it's going to be a decimal point. So don't put an and in your statement unless that's where you want to put the decimal point. And in fact, the, um, please write that down. Um, the bank will, um, put the decimal point there the written where you put an and, um, and not look at the number part. Okay. Uh, 15,456 is 1, 5, comma, 4, 5, 6. And then 46. So um, one thing I also want to point out is that when you have a number that's under... 100, but more than 20, it's stuck together with a hyphen because you guys are going to be asked to enter these into um, your quiz. And if you don't spell it right or have the hyphen in the right spot, then, um, then it will be marked wrong. So 46 and 35 hundredths. So hundredths 
is 2 away from the decimal point, so it's 46.35. You guys can write that down here. Okay, please feel free to pause this, um, back it up, rewind it, whatever you need to do so that you can fill in these notes. Everything highlighted um, here, 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 and here. It corresponds to a box you need to fill in um, on your notes. And then you guys can add in this and equals decimal point because it's a really important concept, especially for check writing. Okay. All right, we're going to talk about place value. You read numbers from left to right. However, you usually learn the names of the place values from right to left. So we're just going to go over it again so you guys know um, how that fits together and works. The place value chart shows the place of each digit, um, the, the one below here, doo -doo -doo -doo. this guy, um, in the number 5,647,210 and 300, sorry, 3, hundred and ninety two thousandths. A decimal point separates the whole numbers and the decimal numbers. And the place value chart can help you write numbers. The whole number part is separated into groups um, of three digits with a comma. So usually after each chunk of three, you put a comma. And the name of each group is used to read the number. So let's take a look at some examples because that's kind of a lot. So we're going to give the place value for each of the following. You guys are going to write this in your notes. Um, the digit 5 is here, and he is in the millions place. So you guys are going to write in millions place. The digit 7 is right here and he is in the thousands place. The digit three is right here. He is in the tenths place. So we're gonna write tenths place right here. The digit nine is here and it's in the hundredths place. And the way I remember this is our one is in the middle Decimal gets to chill with him, they're buddies. And then it's tens, tenths, hundreds, hundredths, thousands, thousandths, ten thousands, ten thousandths. So it goes on. We're not going to get any further below than um, the thousandths. Okay, next page, page one done. Oh, sorry. <laughs> next page, page two done. Okay, so there's, we're going to look at five different ways to write um, a number. So the first way is going to be in standard form. That's how we saw it above here. We put the commas um, every three places and um, the decimal goes in between the whole numbers and the decimals. Um, this guy right here, if we have nothing, um, no whole numbers and the decimal just starts, we put a zero in front of the decimal and then the uh, other numbers uh, to the right. In word form, you guys are going to fill that in in your notes. Um, we write each of these pieces, 5,647,210, no ands until you get to the decimal. Um, and this guy looks like 300 because the 2 is in. So since there's three of them, without the 0, it would be 392. But instead, it's 392 thousands because this two is in the thousands place. Hundred because it's three digits and three digits is usually a hundred. Okay, the short word form. So instead of 
writing the word five, we just um, write the number five. The place value still stays millions, 647 thousands, 210. So everywhere, we just chunk it up um, based on, so this is 647,000. So if it's within this comma spot, we write the number and then what it is. So because this is five, so it's on the left-hand side of the comma, we write five and then what place value it is. This is all chunked together, 647 and there, 1,000. And then 210 is just straight chilling right here. And this is 392,000. So they write the number and then the place value they write out. Expanded form. I like expanded form because it takes each place value and like shines a light on it. So for like 5 million, it gives it its own spot. And then 600,000 gives its own spot. 40,000 from here. Own 7,210. If I had any ones and this wasn't a zero, we would add that on here as well. So when you add it back all together, these place values, so this is everybody gets a shining light. When we add it all together, it equals our number. The decimal is the same way the 0 0.3, the 0 0.09, the 0 0.002. So we ignore. For the first one, we ignore the other two. For the next one, we put a zero for the three. And then for the last one, we put a zero, zero for the three and the nine. Everybody gets highlighted, everybody shines. Last one is point form. Some people like this because it's super precise. Five, six, four, seven, two, one, zero, point. Point is where the decimal point goes. You look, it goes right boop, here, right after the 10, or in this case, the 0. All right, and this would be 0 0.392. So you're just stating every number and then using the word point for the decimal point. All right, your guys' job, that's, that's the end of our live lesson. <clears throat> Your guys' job is to now um, go through the checking for understanding. So let me pull that up. Go through the checking for understanding and complete those problems. If you have your book, the answers to the check for understanding is in the back of the book so you can check on your work. Um, let's pull it up here. So we did all this together. You guys now are going to answer these questions in yellow. It's a concept, sorry, this is concept check. Um, and then check your answers in the back of the book. And then that will conclude your assignment for today. Um, your secret password is what I wrote on the very first page, why we are studying reading and writing um, numbers and decimals. So that's the secret word. So message me that for credit. Thank you guys.